Hi hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, it is tournament day on Hoover Reservoir in Ohio. I'm on a little road trip up here to fish this tournament. And when I do this, I like to bring you all with me, show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And starting out kind of ugly today, it's spitting rain right here, right here before the tournament start time, but it is supposed to uh, clear up here, hopefully in the next two or three hours in the afternoons looking okay. So we got lines in 7 a.m. Tournament runs seven to three. Scores are three longest fish, blues, flathead channels, any combination of the three. Here on Hoover, well, anywhere in Ohio, we're allowed to fish three rods. So my plan is I'm gonna drag a couple and suspend one and just cover some water today. There's no current out here. It's kind of like a, a, a lake conditions if you will as the rain picks up a little stronger nothing like starting out the day with a wet hind end to get you going man but we're gonna hopefully catch some fish today i had pretty good practice up here caught some fish so uh, at least feel like i got a solid plan going into the day chris over here has an even better plan now check out that life jacket where'd you get that life jacket at chris <laughs> I think if I lost my life jacket and that was my only other option, I'd just go home. <laughs> I got to rib somebody, folks, and he's an easy target wearing that ugly life jacket. But uh, anyway, we got about 20, 30 minutes here before we can have lines in. So I'm going to put the camera up and try to keep it from getting so wet. We'll pick this video back up when I get started. All right, guys, we're a minute away from lines in. I've got my baits cut up here. I'm gonna go with all crappie here to start. That is what I have done the best with on my pre-fishing days. So I stocked up on them yesterday morning. They're good and fresh. I had some alive in a bait bucket, unfortunately. They bit the dust last night at the hotel. So uh, going all cut bait today. I'm gonna be, again, dragging two baits. I'm gonna use double hook rigs on my dragging rod. So I'll have a head and a chunk on each dragging rod. And then behind me, I'm gonna pull a balloon rig with a bait down about six foot or so under the surface because I busted a couple fish this week just up in the water column. I'm gonna be fishing roughly 20 feet deep here to start, but I'm going to try to focus on like 15 to 25 foot deep today. I'm going to kind of, I'm starting here basically at the boat ramp and I'm going to just troll out a half a mile an hour, cover water today. There's not really any great features out here to really hold fish. It seems like they move around a lot. They roam just chasing shad and stuff. So I'm going to try to just put my baits in front of as many fish as possible today. So by the time I'm done flapping my gums here, it should be time for lines in. We'll get baited up and get started. Oh, yo, I got to get the camera in the chest. Oh, man. Oh, man, that one's pulling hard. That one's pulling hard. That's under my balloon rig. I got that down six feet or so under the surface. Oh, man, that thing is pulling hard back there, buddy. He was taking some drag before I could get the camera. I had it down in the front hatch of my kayak because it's still just spitting rain. It's nasty out here right now. But I've been seeing some fish on the live scope up in the water column. There's some shad schools, and I've been seeing some bigger fish come up and just kind of go in and out of them schools, busting them up. I'm out here in the middle of the Dagon Lake, man. Initially, I kind of thought I'd kind of follow the contours over there on the edge, but we got 18 people in this tournament and six other kayaks was over there. I guess kind of the same plan great minds think alike. And so I decided to call an audible and kind of get out here in the middle of the lake. It's kind of just a big mud basin out here. And I caught some fish out here earlier in the week, you know, my pre-fishing days. So I thought I'll get away from the crowd, come out here. These fish won't have seen a bait. And sure as the world, we caught one right here, man. This is a good one. I ain't got to look at him yet, but he's a good fish. I hope he don't get my dragging line right there. I think he may have. Kayak kind of got spun a little bit. I'm basically just going into the wind. Oh yeah, that's a good fish, man. Good fish. Good fish right there, buddy. Oh, buddy, he's gonna pull some more drag. Oh man, that's exciting, y'all. I don't know what time it is. I haven't, I haven't looked at my phone lately because of the, the dang rain, man. It just won't let up. It's supposed to clear out here mid morning, mid afternoon. I mean, I think the wind's supposed to pick up a little more, but 
I'll deal with the wind, but boy, this rain makes it hard to film. <laughs> oh man, this is a good fish right here, guys. This is a good fish. Nice blue cat. Oh, he's all up in my... Oh, he did not eat... Oh man, y'all. This fish, I had a crappie head on this. He didn't eat the crappie head. He ate my stinger fly. I have a stinger fly under that rig. That's what he eat. He ate the daggone fly, man. I love them dang stinger flies. I've caught so many fish on them things over the last year. By gosh, I just got me another one. All right, y'all. Let's land this thing here before he pops the hook. Oh, man. This is a good fish, y'all. Oh. Man, this thing's wound up, buddy. He is all up in my other dragging line, but that's okay. Oh, man. We got us a good one, y'all. That's a solid fish right here to start. Oh, man, that's a nice fish. Oh, buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Ate him that fly, y'all. My daggone stinger fly. Catfish sumo. Man, that thing paid off. Oh, man, I think my camera's crooked. I don't care. Look at that, y'all. Nice Hoover Reservoir blue cat. That's a solid fish for fish number one for me, man. This one, plus two more if I can get them today. I'm going to be in contention on this thing. Let me set him down. We'll get some pictures here on my board. i got to untangle some lines. We'll get back on the move. All right, y'all. That fish right there, 39 and a quarter inches, man. That is a solid fish anywhere, but especially on tournament day here on Hoover, man. Let's get him back in the water. i gotta, I got some work to do on these lines to get them untangled. We'll see you, buddy. There you go. Let me give you a fist pump worthy on that one, by gosh. Heck yeah. Oh, man, y'all, I am so pumped up. I'm going to cut another crappie here. Okay, I got these yesterday. The crappie bite up here on Hoover is just phenomenal, man. It is an amazing crappie fishery. And these fish up here right now are on the, the shallows. They're in the nesting and stuff. And easy pickings gotta be nine inches up here to keep but they are a legal bait here in the state of ohio so i'm using them and i've just got this basically a carolina rig without the weight i've got my 10 aught circle hook there to the crappie head down to that stinger fly a few inches below which is you know what that other fish eat there so i'm gonna put it back out I got my balloon, that's just basically a party balloon, blown up to about a baseball size. I've got it up my line here about, I don't know, six foot or so. So as I troll along, that bait and fly is down there just a few feet under the surface. But again, I noticed the other day when I come out here on Thursday, pre-fishing, I saw fish on the live scope up in the water column. I caught a couple on jigs and uh, switched a bait under a balloon there on Thursday and actually got a dang good fish pulling a, I think, I think I had a skipjack head on at that time under a balloon. So I knew today, especially for the morning hours here, I was definitely going to have a bait under a balloon and it just paid off big. Y'all, right there is kind of an example of what I'm talking about. There comes another fish right there. I'm going to shine the live scope around. You can see see all those shad that are up in the water column as I spin it around. Those bigger marks, those bigger fish are coming up and breaking up those schools of shad. And when I've got my bait back there, oh, oh, I think it's, it's going under right now. Perfect timing. Oh, he come back up. Actually, I think something, I think something is on there. I don't think he's very big, but he's on there. <laughs> yeah, that's a small, that's a small fish right here. I'm gonna go ahead and score him though. Three fish lemon. I'm gonna put him on the board. This one ate the fly too. I'll be damn. Look at this. Look at this. He is tiny. By gosh, he ate the fly too, man. That fly's getting it done today. Y'all caught them two fish on thursday on the jigs folks they're up chasing shad i got a little bait fish here bait fish presentation anyway with that uh 
with that fly this one may not this one may not even be legal to score i don't know what our minimum score <laughs> our minimum fish length is for these tournaments i've never been encountered with this problem he's flopping around too i got to get my phone and everything set up i'll tell you what while he's tiring himself out let's just cast this oh man i got my other line now let me fix my crappie head back on here it got all cattywampus while i was dealing with that fish i guess let's put that back on mouth is tore up let me go out this side let me get it cast back out and then i'll fool with this dink in the in the kayak here that's two under the balloon i may need to switch out another rod y'all i may need to put one of these dragon rigs get them up near the surface now i got my line up here daggummit batting a thousand here folks there we go <laughs> but i may need to switch out one of these other rods and put it subsurface with all the action that's going on right now all the fish i'm seeing up in the water column let me just let that let out some line here while i get a picture of this fish no oh, gosh dang it he went off the board i've got one picture of him but uh his tail was crooked dead gummit the big ones will lay on that board easy peasy calm for him. them little ones want to flip and flop every which way hopefully that if that fish is still on my score at the end of the day i'm toast anyway but nice to have a limit you know i gotta get one more fish for the limit but you know what i mean it's nice to score every fish for your limit until you get it because some days the limit just don't ever come so here's what i'm doing y'all i got another balloon rig i'm putting a chunk of crappie on this one with the fly again i've got the balloon about six foot up my line there only have three rods out so i had to put my one of my other dragging rigs up but i still got one dragging so two balloon rigs and one dragging rig this balloon rig is something that i use back home a lot when i'm fishing super shallow back in the backwaters and stuff i use it when i'm shark fishing down in the ocean so there's videos on my channel you want to learn more about this how i tie it and stuff but it's, it's real simple it's basically just an overhand knot around your main line down to your them to your normal catfish leader so when fish like today are up higher in the water column or if you're fishing real shallow kind of you know real snaggy areas that maybe you don't want to drag through this rig is a is a good setup there's <laughs> something splashing right there but uh the rain has led up here for a little while the catfish boat tournament has started there's a catfish boat tournament starting right here at the launch that i used we were able to use any public launch site on hoover i chose this one with the dang catfish tournament i'm gonna span the camera i don't know if you can see but there are boats all over up here some more over here so apparently apparently i'm at least in the section of this reservoir where the catfish are at just based on what i'm seeing with all these people here but i'm off to a good start two fish on the board need one more for my limit but really really need two more good quality fish to have a chance and and cashing in this thing today oh right here oh he dropped it i had one after it i had a hit mm. okay y'all that was another bite at least on the balloon rig i think i'm i think i'm on to something here with this balloon rig out here and i hope I hope all these other guys are fishing on bottom. If the fish are up, I hope they're all on bottom. <laughs> so y'all, I trolled my way over to the other side of the channel and there's a couple kayakers over there and another boat. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna come back over here and do this same run again. So I reeled everything up, come back. So right now, my left side over here, I have a bait under a balloon that's about 10 feet deep. The balloon on this side of the kayak, I've got the bait about six feet deep. And then my dragging rod, I've got here in my back rod holder going off. So right now, you know, I'm 23 feet deep here where I'm at. So I pretty much got the water column covered, six feet, 10 feet, and then down dragging the bottom. So I'm gonna do this same run again right now. It's kind of wide open. Most of the boats and the kayakers have made their way on up 
to the uh, further up here in the reservoir so this area here is kind of wide open and i saw a bunch of fish on my initial pass through here most of them were up in the water column so uh we'll do it again here see if we can get some more i don't know if you can see it coming or not on camera but i can literally see the rain maybe 100 200 yards right up there it's about to hit again man this stuff's just relentless and i have like a what i call a poor man's bimini top i made a, a little diy pvc holder for an umbrella to give me some protection from the rain however i got a new umbrella and the handle is too big to fit down and my little diy mount so should have probably tested that out when i got the new umbrella so uh just gotta embrace the suck today folks i got my rain suit on shout out frog togs hasn't repelled a single drop of water my whole upper half of my body is soaked to the core right now but at least it's not cold i can handle being wet but cold and wet i'd probably be headed toward tennessee right now but i'm gonna stick it out out here just embrace it and hopefully find me two more big fish at some point out here today Oh, y'all, I got one. Oh, I had him. At, I think he does have it. I think he does. Let me get my umbrella out the way, y'all. I was holding that umbrella, trying to keep myself dry if I can. Oh, man, this fish is making a run, buddy. He is going under. He's going the other way, man. <laughs> this dang fish. He's going to try to get both my lines, I reckon. <laughs> come up here fish boy he went under him i don't think he got in him i think i got lucky right there y'all this is the one that was about 10 feet deep under that balloon he ain't done yet either man he swam over and then right at me i hope y'all could see and hear me filming in the rain is always a challenge i've lost the wind muff thing off my microphone the rain's done it in it's a, just one of them things. We just rolling with it, folks. I'm trying to catch a fish. I'm trying to show you all what's happening out here. I bring you the good, the bad, the ugly. As I always say in these tournament videos. And, well, you see it's ugly with the weather today. Mother Nature is not a pretty lady today out here. It is supposed to get better as the day goes on, though. Yeah. Now this one here, let's see, did he eat the flat? No, he, this one ate the crappie head. This one ate the head right here. Let me get my umbrella out the way. We'll get this thing landed. Okay, fish. Come on in. Don't do that, fish. Oh, boy, he's wound. Boy, he's choked that dang crappie head, too. I see it in his mouth there. I got more fish. If you want to keep it, I reckon you can. Well, here, here this old thing is. This fish here will, will finish out my limit. I do still need to upgrade that little 18 inch there that's on my score. But this one here, we'll throw him on the board just in a second. But this is a fun sizer, what I call fun sizer back home. So let me set him down. I gotta bust out my phone, unfortunately. This is, a, this is another challenge as he goes crazy. Another challenge of these tournaments, so these kayak catfishing tournaments, we do pictures. We have a tournament identifier that's handed out at our captain's meeting mine's about had it it's soaking wet but uh, we get that date time gps stamp and we take a picture on an approved measuring board unfortunately with all the rain my towel is soaking wet i have nothing to drive my phone off my hands nothing that's another challenge of these tournaments in these conditions but uh we're gonna we're gonna find a way to get a picture of this fish folks that one there 34 and a quarter inches so uh Another quality fish, man. I just need me one more. Got about, I don't know, five and a half, six hours to do it. We're in good shape, y'all. What do you think, Blue Cat? You ready to go? He said he'd been ready. How you going? We'll cut another crappie here. That one ate ahead, so that's what we're gonna do on the next one. I just got my third fish submitted there. So I've got 91 and three quarter inches, which has me in second place as of 9.35 a.m. So ton of time left today. Got a lot of, lot of water to cover, a lot more fish to be caught for everybody out here, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm just 
basically trolling kind of into the wind just to help easier make it easier to maintain my speed and keep everything behind me without the back end of the kayak getting spun around but this area that I'm in here on the reservoir there's really just nothing and there's nothing down here it's just a big mud basin and fish are just sporadically chasing through these these schools of shad which maybe you can see on the screen like here comes some more here's some more fish up here near the surface and it seems like when I'm seeing larger fish on the screen which I assume are, are catfish they're up man they're like in that first 10 feet of the water column chasing these shad so feel like I'm in pretty good shape with this with this balloon method here it's kind of an unconventional tactic it's something that I use a lot in shallow water but uh, it's getting it done out here in the deeper depths today okay, so we're hooked up again we're hooked up again it's on that head it's about 10 foot deep Right now, I'm 20 feet of water. We just got another one, man. I hope this one is an upgrade over that little 18-incher. I didn't like having to take a picture of that little dinkity doodah, but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So <laughs> until I get my three fish, I'll picture every one of them just to be safe. I'm kind of making, I'm going across the channel now the other way. I'm going to loop back. I'm going to keep kind of just circling this area where I've been catching and, and seeing all these fish. I have seen a bunch of them. Just haven't, just haven't been catching them, but they're here. There's a lot of them here. This one here, he may turn out to be a pretty good fish. Yeah, this is a definite upgrade over that other one. We just improved our score right here. Well, this one here ain't been very cooperative, but he's like 29 to 29 and a quarter. We'll see what the picture shows once I zoom in, but I'm ready to get that thing out of there, man. Uncooperative little snot again. If you get a big one, they just lay there, let you do your thing, but them small ones, they want to flop. They don't want to lay their tail right. Ornery little devils. But that's a definite upgrade over the other one there, so that's going to improve our score a lot. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I got another crappie head going out, man. They liking that crappie. They liking it up in the water column. So that's what I'm gonna keep giving them. It's gonna let out some line here, let that balloon get about, I don't know, 30 yards or so behind me. Keep making our way along. So we're now at the halfway mark of the tournament. Good news is the rain has stopped, so we're getting a little reprieve from that, but I'll give you an update here on the scoreboard. Right now, Mark Bennett has got the best beard in all of catfishing. He's currently sitting in first place, 107.5 inches. Andrew Green from Texas in second, and then there I am in third. So basically, one good fish away from being right up there at the top of the leaderboard. Right now, uh, Mark also has big fish. His was a half inch bigger than mine. So he's in line for a pretty good payday right now. First place plus big fish is I think $2,300 there. So uh, nice payday for Mark if he can hold on to it. But you better believe the next four hours here, I'm on his tail, man. I'm gonna do everything I can to catch up with him. Oh boy, I'm getting spun around here, y'all. I'm getting spun around. Oh boy, he's gonna pull a little bit now. It's been a little while, man. I hadn't caught a fish in a while. I was just contemplating switching out one of my balloon rigs for uh, another dragging. I haven't done anything on the dragging, not a tap, bite, nothing. But the late of the mornings went on, I'm not seeing fish up in the water column like I was earlier. Not seeing those bait, bait schools with fish going in and busting them. So I think maybe those fish have went farther down. But here I am though, getting another bite on the, the balloon rig. And this one, this is the one I got about six feet or so deep. So maybe we'll just leave things as is for now. I can't tell about this one yet. I can't tell if he's gonna be an upgrade or not. He definitely ain't no 40 incher that I need. <laughs> but he might he might give me a little bit here if he can 
anything, any upgrade at all, I'll take it. Right now, I'm still hanging on to third place, which is the final payout spot. Got 18 people in this tournament, so it's paying top three. First place, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, first place, 1,700, second place, 900, third place, 150. And then 600 for big fish. So I need me about a 40 inch or y'all, but if this one will upgrade me at all, I'm gonna be happy with it. What do you think about it, fish? You got anything you wanna tell these people before I land you? You wanna tell them to hit the like and subscribe button? He ain't gonna tell you all that. He ain't gonna tell me nothing. Look at him. Look at that thing in his mouth there, man. Yeah, that fish there has been kissing on a dirty woman or something. She done. He's mad at me. He didn't want me telling you all that. He's embarrassed. He about put that hook in my finger. Yo, fish. All right, y'all. If I can get him to calm down and lay on this board right, he's going to be about 31 and a quarter. So he is an upgrade. Got our pictures. Camera is crooked up there. Ain't my best filming performance today. I lost one of my wind muffs off the camera there when the rain was beating down on it we rolling with it though by gosh <laughs> get out of here fish there you go there he goes he finally taking off that fish was making the most of his camera time again I hell I can't dry off my hands <laughs> my towel still soaking wet get my line undone here that one had ate a, a chunk of crappie body section so I'm gonna put another chunk on there so I got a head on that side, a chunk on this one, and then uh, I switched out my dragging rig here. I thought, I got bluegill. Let me just put those on there and see what that'll do for us. So I'd mix, I changed it up a little while ago. So we'll get another chunk on here, send it out about six feet deep. So we keep making our way along. Oh, got one on, y'all. Got one on. Got one on. Balloons under. I've made a run, y'all. I've, I've moved back down, heading back into the wind. Just got my lines out a few minutes ago. and Oh, man, this thing's going to move me. He's spinning me around between the fish and the wind. i got to get repositioned here on the kayak, y'all. Bear with me. Tell that fish to bear with me, too. <laughs> oh. Now, he just got to feeling a lot bigger as I was speeding up there <laughs> I don't know how big this fish is when you're pulling him along about a mile an hour he's gonna feel bigger than he is of course I'm just gonna spot lock right here while I try to get this fish in or else I'm gonna have lines wrapped around me every which way the rain has moved out I think but the wind has really started to pick up This one was about six foot down. This was my chunk of crappie. Nah, I don't think he's going to be an upgrade. We'll throw him on the board and find out. I don't think he's going to help us though at this point. All right, let's throw him on the board here. Yeah, that one there, about 29 inches. So he's not going to be, a, be able to get on our score at this point. That's another bite though. Still on the balloon. I can't catch nothing on bottom. Every fish I have got today has been up in the water column. Not seeing as many now on the live scope. I've just kept it looking forward as I make my way along, but uh, there are still some fish that are up. There's our next bait. Just a chunk of crappie to fly under it. See my balloon there. It's about I don't know, right at about six foot, I guess. So I'm gonna get on the move here again before I cast this out. I'm gonna have my lines every which way around me here. <laughs> oh, that's a nice, oh crap. That's a nice fish right there. I'm gonna be passing him up in just a little bit. He's about uh, between 15 and 20 feet deep. He's going there behind me. What I wouldn't give to have that fish bite one of my baits. I'm I'm just, I'm not seeing as much bait now, but a lot of the fish that I am seeing, although not many, 
are still up so i'm still running the same setup with two balloon rigs one about six foot one about 10 foot and then my bait i got one rod here that's just dragging bottom it's not been touched all day not a tap nothing all day so i'm going to keep rocking the same setup here got about two hours left to fish i need a big bite that one I just saw on the screen there would be ideal because I have fallen down the leaderboard last I looked. I'm in like fifth place now. One good fish though, a, a 39, 40 inch fish, puts me right up there at the top again though. So it's just, it's, a, it's one bite, man. It's one stinking bite and I need it. I'm gonna turn the camera on a second here, y'all. I think I may, yeah, I do have one on right here. Well, now he wants to take off a little bit. I I got this rod hit, and I wasn't sure if I had a fish or not. Oh, yeah, he's thrashing around back there. Maybe he's... I was thinking maybe it's one of them little 12-inchers or something, but he might be a little better than I thought here. Come on up here, fish. You whoop now. Well, he ain't gonna help us though. Definitely ain't gonna help us at this point. Nice to get another bite though. While the bite seems to have picked up for everybody else, it has definitely slowed down for me. My better action was this morning. What do you think, fish? Where's your Where's your bigger friends at? Will you tell me? He won't tell me. He won't tell me anything. This fish, man, he's. He's got a sore lip. I'll teach you fish. I'd have took it easy on you if you'd give up your friends. He ain't gonna do it though. Get on out of here. I guess I'll go ahead and switch this bait out while I got it reeled in though. It's a good time to do it. Here's what I'm gonna do y'all. This, my practice days and out here today, the crappie's been getting the action. The skipjack I brought with me really didn't do much, but you know what? I'm just gonna put a skipjack head on put a really big bait out there and just kind of swing for the fences just mix it up a little bit just kind of go for it here in this final hour what I'm doing just isn't getting the results that I need right now so why not mix it up and see what happens y'all I got a balloon back there swimming it's swimming man let's see if I can catch up with him here yeah we got him this is on a chunk of crappie here my rod tip kind of done this and it looked like it was going slack and I looked back and my, my balloon was gone and then I saw it swimming. <laughs> this fish tried a sneak attack on me. He ain't going to be very big though. He ain't going to be what we need y'all. I need a, about a 40 inch is what I need. This in here ain't going to measure up for a few more years you a few years away blue kitty you might be the second smallest one of the day actually and you threw my bait off you old fish say hi and bye fish we gotta get another bait out there we running out of time folks we got an hour left i need that 40 incher another one another one y'all Let's get him. Let's hope this one is an upgrade because I am running out of time. Let's let's check the clock. 2.36 right there. We got 24 minutes to make something happen. I'm just staying the course. That's all I know to do. It's working and catching fish. Just ain't getting, ain't getting a big one. Got one big one, need two more. Let's see what we got here, he's coming at me. I don't think this is gonna measure up, folks. Oh, that one, that's another one on the, the stinger right there, y'all, he got my back line too. Let's see if we can untangle that before he gets it all wrapped up. Bear with me a second here, folks. There we go. Yeah, that's another one on the, on the fly right there. We got our big one this morning on the fly, then a small one, and now another small one. 
you knocked the bait off fish that wasn't nice of you we're running out of time we ain't got a lot of time left to do any rebaiting it ain't looking good for me y'all you know last i looked i was in fifth place so i'm uh like two and a quarter inches behind third place which was the final payout spot there he is and uh I was a half inch behind on my big fish there. So I ain't looking like I'm gonna cash unless I just get lucky in the last few minutes. All right, y'all, well, that's a wrap on the Hoover tournament. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to improve my score anymore and it cost me, I slid on down the leaderboard. So the final results here, I am in sixth place with 104. 0.75 inches shout out to aaron grubb who takes home the win uh, nice day for him 115 and a quarter inches jeremiah man i couldn't pronounce his last name with 30 tries he had 111 and three quarter inches for second place and mark bennett there in third with 107.5 look down here at the big fish though y'all there was some really nice fish caught out here today and mark bennett gets the the big fish prize there of six hundred dollars but i mean look at those fish i mean there was a lot of quality fish caught today and uh, you know for years i have heard that ohio is just terrible for catfishing and it probably is on the ohio river which has just been hit hard with commercial fishing but out here on hoover this is turning into a pretty good body of water they just started stocking blues in here back 10 12 years ago but uh, just looking at the scoreboard today I, I think this is going to be a great fishery especially as more years go by and these fish have a chance to grow so been a good trip up here to ohio uh, the last few days got some good fish had some good times with uh, fishing with these fellas and uh, wish i could have done better today started off with a bang man got that nice fish there on the fly and it's just crazy to me all of my fish today every single one came on a balloon rig you know either six or ten feet down nothing i mean not even a, a peck on my bait that i was dragging so uh be curious to get over here at the launch and talk to some of these guys see how they caught their fish but uh interesting day nonetheless but had a good trip out here man enjoyed my time in ohio it's been a long time coming could have had a better rain suit no shout out for frog togs i am still soaked all the way to my skivvies i'm gonna have to find a place over here to strip down and change clothes before i go home because i ain't making no six hour drive in wet underwear but anyway i'm gonna get out of here make the drive home i'll see you next time thanks for watching